Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Joe Racks. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to do a continuation of my reissue uh, video, the CD one, um, but this time it's going to be vinyl. Uh, I did not pick up a ton of reissues this year, but uh, a few of these are box sets. A few of these are not necessarily reissues, They're, but they contain songs that have been issued on another maybe compilation or um, on, a, on a studio album. But um, but yeah, uh, fewer box sets. One's a CD vinyl box set. I decided to do it in this video. But uh, well, let me kick it off with uh, Janis Joplin in concert. This was put out by Music on Vinyl um, in September, October, I believe. Uh, this is a double album. It was first issued in 1972 after she passed. Um, I have listened to this and it sounds really, really good. It sounds really good. They did a great job with the remastering on this. Um, it's a double album. The first album is uh, songs from when she was in Big Brother and the Holding Company. It's, I'm not going to pull both out. They're both the same, but color vinyl red. Um, the second album is uh, from her band Full Tilt Boogie. Uh, and it's songs taken from the um, Festival Express they did the tour through, through Canada with the Grateful Dead. Uh, Buddy Guy was on that tour, the band, and I can't remember who else. I know there was a couple other acts, but uh, but yeah, Janis Joplin in concert. I've always been a big fan of her voice, and uh, but this sounds really amazing. This album, they did a great job on that. And I'm not like a remastering expert or anything, but it sounds really good. Uh, Steely Dan, Countdown to Ecstasy, probably in my top three Steely Dan's album, might be my number two. Uh, they started a reissue campaign of their, uh, discography on vinyl in 2022. They put out their debut, Can't Buy a Thrill. This year they put out, uh, Countdown to Ecstasy and Pretzel Logic. I like Pretzel Logic, uh, but not as much as I love this one, Countdown to Ecstasy. This one's not... Uh, color vinyl or anything just the remastered they have put out Asia and Gaucho and they but they have not put out Katie Lied or uh, the Royal Scam yet so I'm waiting for Katie Lied because I love that album Royal Scam is, is really good too but uh, yeah Steely Dan Countdown to Ecstasy put those away later all right also the Doobie Brothers reissued a few uh, of theirs. Uh, the Captain and Me. This is not colored vinyl either. This was put out by Friday Music. This is not colored vinyl either. Just reissued, like I said. And. They also put out two loose streets. These are the only two that I saw when they were available, so I got these, picked these up right away. So, eh, ooh, infamous cover. Uh, <laughs> infamous uh, inside gay fold. Alright, also uh, some color vinyl from Chicago came out this year, Chicago 5. Um, in Chicago 6, which I am a big fan of this album. Uh, I'm a big fan of the first three. This one is colored vinyl. But I do enjoy uh, Chicago's albums uh, up to Chicago 8. Not a huge fan of 10 or after, uh, but you know, especially the ter early Terry Cath years were amazing. So, Chicago 6. Alright, now. Uh, this year also, the Scorpions put out some uh, reissues on vinyl, colored vinyl. And I picked up uh, Love Drive. Now they did everything from... Uh, in Trance, up to Savage Amusement. Uh, that, 
includes Fly to the Rainbow. Uh, they did not do Lonesome Crow. I'm not sure why. But they did do the live albums, Tokyo Tapes and Worldwide Live also. So, and I did get Blackout. These are, those are probably my two favorites from them. I still may pick up uh, Taken by Force and Virgin Killer. Of course, Virgin Killer has the alternate uh, alternate album cover. So. But yeah, these sound really good too. Clear for that one. All right. Next up is Overkill. Overkill reissued their Atlantic Years uh, albums on color vinyl. So I picked up my two top two favorites. Under the influence is one. Very nice. And the other, Horoscope. All right. I will probably pick up um, Years of Decay and, uh, and Taking Over. I do like Feel the Fire, but that wasn't released on Atlantic, so that's not included. Although Feel the Fire may have a color of my own. Uh, issue, I'm not 100% sure, but honestly, I like taking over a little better than Field of Fire, but it's just me. So, alright, overkill. Alright, next up, also music on vinyl. Also, we issued Exodus, another Lessons in Violence, the live album with Paul Bailoff when they, they uh, got back together with Paul Bailoff. Did a series of shows. This is a double album. In the back. This is when uh, they had uh, Jack Gibson was in the band. Was, had already joined the band. Comes with an insert. This is also a colored vinyl. Very nice. So yeah, it was definitely cool to pick this up. All right. Also, I got this is a this is a box set. Triumph of Death. Tom Warrior's uh, Hellhammer project. Uh, they've done a last year did a bunch of live shows. Something he put together a couple years ago. Uh, they recorded a uh, album taken from uh, shows in Portugal, in Munich, I believe, and in Houston, Texas. Um, so they play Hellhammer stuff. Um, this is a double. This is a. This is a book. If there's a book inside. Hold on. Let me show you. There's a book inside. It just has the credits and has. I'll show real quick. All right. It's live stuff. Of course, all live shots is a live album. So I'm not going to go through every page, but some really cool live stuff on here. And then, of course, you get the credits at the end. But this is also color vinyl. This was also released on CD, which I did pick up. So, very nice, very nice. Um, show you the vinyl. I want to Oh, it comes with a poster. That's right, I forget. It does come with a poster. A couple of posters. Yeah. And of course, Tom Warrior went on to form Celtic Frost. Right after, the Hellhammer only released a, demo, a few demos, uh, an EP, and then they had a few demos. But, um, yeah. Well, this comes with a single also. Came with a 
single. Not 100% sure why, but it's still cool anyway. All right. Another thing I picked up, this is a CD vinyl box set, and it's the Yes Album, one of my favorite 70s progressive rock bands, the Yes Album. The vinyl is in here, it is a little bit, a little bit difficult to get out, so I'm not going to take it out, it's not color of course or anything like that, but it does come with a booklet, uh, it's maybe about 7 or 8 pages. There's the discs in there. Uh, of course, CD one is the the album remastered. Uh, CD two is the Stephen Wilson remixes from 2014, which I do have that separately. Picked that up about seven or eight years ago. CD three is like demos and rarities, and then CD four is uh, live, which has um, just songs. It's not a full concert; just songs taken from. Uh, from a few different shows, but uh, but yeah. Oh, this is a Blu-ray in here. Blu-ray in here. <laughs> yes, album. I may pick up Fragile if they do Fragile in this format, but uh, but we'll see. All right, and then also, I don't think these have been issued before in this format. But I picked up the Pantera um, picture disc set, complete albums. Complete studio albums, of course, it's not the, of course it's not the complete studio albums, it's just the, the ones they did on, uh, on Echo, on the record company. So, all the way from, of course, Cowboys uh, from Hell to Reinventing the Steel. So, and I'm not going to pull all of them out. Just a couple, maybe the first couple. Cowboys from Hell. Play. I have our skit. I haven't played these, but um, there's always a big debate on whether or not picture discs, the sound quality. Some people say it's improved over the years, and others still say it's doesn't. They still don't sound great. But uh, I probably will play maybe one or two just just to see how they sound. All right, the other one I got. No, to my to my knowledge, this has never been released on picture disc. Um, but it's Black Sabbath's Hand of Doom. This is the Ozzy Years 70 to 78 picture disc. I don't take all these out either, but I had to have this as a collector. Maybe I'm not the most serious collector, but I, I just I had to get this and I got it for a good price. And Rhino it was selling for I believe $249. Merch bar, I got this for one seventy nine plus, of course, taxes and shipping. But there you go, sabotage. I'll pull out a few more, but I mean, it's essentially it's the helm covers and Sabbath, bloody Sabbath. It's my favorite Black Sabbath album. That is actually from the inside, from the gatefold of the original album, the picture. Let's take out technical ecstasy. Technical ecstasy. Just has the track listing. So, alrighty, 
That's my vinyl reissues for 2023. Uh, not sure what else, what's coming out this next year, uh, but uh, I'll definitely be looking for stuff. So I, it's not a ton. I know I'm sure there's tons of people that have bought more than this, um, but uh, that's all I really wanted to pick up this year. So, so all right. Thanks for watching, and uh, take care.